Hello, this book is called Baby Boomsticks. It is by Margaret Wilde and David Ledger. Baby Boomsticks. That is a very big baby. Let's see what happens. Once upon a time, a teeny tiny mum, Mrs Boomsticks, and a teeny tiny dad, Mr Boomsticks, had a teeny tiny baby. They called him Baby Boomsticks. What a wonder, said his mum. What a joy, said his dad. But in no time at all, the teeny tiny baby became a big, jolly baby. Wow. His nappies were as big as towels, then as big as sheets. He drank buckets of milk. He ate barrels of porridge. Baby Boomsticks was so big. He was bigger than his mum. Bigger than his dad. He was so big that he slept first on a hay cart then on a haystack. What a marvel, said his mum. What a darling, said his dad. Oh, look how happy the baby is. And much to his mum and dad's delight, baby Boomsticks was so jolly that he laughed as merrily as the babbling brook and louder than the village band. It did his mum and his dad good just to hear him. There was only one problem. Baby Boomsticks had no friends. The teeny tiny villagers were afraid to let their teeny tiny babies play with such a big baby. Never mind, my love, said his mum. We'll play with you, son, said his dad. Peekaboo! But it wasn't quite the same. Poor baby boomsticks. And still, baby boomsticks grew. Although he was no longer quite so jolly, he grew bigger than the houses, bigger than the tallest trees. He grew so big that his head was up there in the sky, up there in the clouds. Sometimes the clouds tickled his ears, tickled his nose, tickled him under his chin. The clouds are my friends, thought Baby Boomsticks, but they can't play peekaboo. One day the clouds were so tickly that Baby Boomsticks laughed and clapped his hands loud as thunder. You can see the clapping movements. Boom, boom, boom. All at once it began to rain and rain and rain. Oops, said Baby Boomsticks. It rained so much that water flooded the land, flushing the streets, rushing into the houses. The water rose higher than the doors, higher than the windows, right up to the roofs of the houses. Help! cried the teeny tiny villagers. Wah! cried the teeny tiny babies. Save us, son! cried Baby Boomsticks, Mum and Dad. So, Baby Boomsticks gathered up his mum and dad and all the teeny tiny villagers and all their teeny tiny babies and all the cows and the pigs and the sheep and all the cats and the dogs. Then he splish splashed, splish splashed out of town over the hill and over the dale right to the top of the mountain. That's my lovely lad said his mum. That's my smart boy, said his dad. Hooray for baby boomsticks, said the teeny tiny villagers. Away, away, said their teeny tiny babies.
From then on, baby broomsticks had lots of friends to play with. They played tickling games, but not too tickly, and jumping games, and bouncing games, and hiding games, and sliding games. Peek-a-poo! And much to his mum and dad's joy, Baby Boomsticks was jolly once more. He was so jolly that he laughed as merrily as the babbling brook, louder than the village band, and as jubilantly as the church bells. There he is, jolly and happy again. That was a very strange story, but lots of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.